Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic 2 Pro tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys Waypoints 2.0. It's an intelligent flight mode that was rolled out by DJI in late January of 2019. So keep that in mind, guys, whether you're watching this video a week from now or years from now. This video in particular was made in late January of 2019 and they rolled this out for the Mavic 2 series. I know for sure the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Zoom. Not sure if they rolled out Waypoints 2.0 for the original Mavic Pro, the Mavic Air, the Spark, the Phantom series. Not really sure all that I do know at this point, again in late January 2019, is that they did roll out Waypoints 2.0 for the Mavic 2 series. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Do you see the far left of the screen, right about where Izzy's right elbow is, you see that little white, um, wow, look at that comment that just came in at the top. I'm making it right now, Rick Whitham. I'm making it right now, buddy. Anyways, Izzy's right elbow, see the little white um, icon, the little remote, we're gonna tap it to enter intelligent flight modes. Now look at the bottom. Look at the bottom right in particular, we have waypoints. So we're going to tap on it and it's gonna bring in this, it has a tutorial that you could, you know, go through. And so we're going to um, exit this tutorial and that's what I'm here for guys. Now you'll see my home point at the bottom of the screen. Whoops, I accidentally added a uh, waypoint. I'm gonna do that a lot. But anyways, I'm ver at the very bottom, but I'm actually going to be doing this up north quite a ways at this uh, park here, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how we can pre-plan or preset our flight path um, using Waypoints 2.0. So it's really cool stuff. So if you look at the very top of the screen, guys, right below position with the drone icon, you have that blue icon with the pin and then one, two, three, four different icons to the right of that. I'm gonna hit the one on the very far right, the three dots. And that tells you what each of those icons are, okay? So you have waypoint, mark point of interest, save, delete, task library, and route settings. Right now, all we need to worry about is waypoint. So I'm gonna select it, and then I'm going to choose where I want my drone's first waypoint to be. So I'm gonna choose right about here in this corner. And then let's say I want it to fly right over in here. And then I want it to fly back this way. And then possibly back over here and then maybe right around in here, okay? So I've set five waypoints as you can see. Now if you'll notice, they are five black circles or um, balls, whatever you wanna call them, and there's a little white arrow that's facing the way the drone's gonna fly and every single waypoint is set at 164 feet. Now we can go into each one of these and customize different settings on them, which is really cool stuff. But first, let me show you guys a new feature with these Waypoints 2.0 that they've also added, and that is being able to set a point of interest. So to the right, at the very top again, guys, where the blue pin, where I have the pin selected, to the right of that is a little star with a frame around it. We're gonna select that, and that is how we can choose a point of interest, which I'm going to choose this water tower here. So I'm just going to tap Actually, let me see if I can get it um, a little closer to it. Uh, let me see, okay, delete, I deleted it. So I'm gonna tap again, that'll be good. Now, you see it says zero feet. I'm actually going to put my finger on the screen. If you look down at the bottom right corner, you see Izzy there staring at you, it's kind of weird. But anyways, we're going to actually um, tap on that pin where our point of interest is. And as you can see, it says swipe up or down to adjust the value. So I know for a fact that this water tower is about 95 feet tall, but I'm just going to put it at about 75 feet just for the heck of it. But that's important because your gimbal pitch or your, you know what I'm saying? Like the uh, angle or tilt of your camera, or your gimbal, that's gonna key based on, you know, based on its altitude to uh, make sure that that point of interest is correctly, you know, um, calculated to get that shot. And so anyways, so I'm good there. So now I'm gonna hit okay. And so we have our five waypoints set and a point of interest. Guys, you could add five point of interest. You could add as many as you want as well as waypoints, but we're just going to focus on using one right now. So now let's go in and adjust the settings for each waypoint. 
Oops, I accidentally added another point of interest. I'm telling you, it happens. If you do that, you just hit the delete. Oh my gosh, I just added another one. So I'm gonna tap on it, hit delete, tap on the second one, hit delete. You guys are seeing real life uh, issues and things going on here within this uh, Waypoints 2.0. But anyways, now we're going to go into each waypoint. I'm gonna go to number one by tapping on it. And then you see we can change the altitude by simply getting our finger in. I'm, right now I'm just uh, scrolling down on the on the page on the interface on the screen and now i'm going up and that adjusts our altitude so late so say let's we want to start off you know pretty high at about 200 feet somewhere around there okay i'm going to click okay then i'm going to go also on that before i before, uh, before i clicked okay down at the very bottom you see we have altitude speed flying direction gimbal pitch none all right camera action and poi so right here guys we want to hit on poi and I'm going to hit one. Now you'll notice that little arrow switched and now it's pointing at my point of interest, okay? So now we're gonna hit okay at the top of the screen. We're gonna to go to the second one. Now I'm at 164 feet altitude. I'm gonna actually keep it there. We're gonna have the drone decrease from waypoint one to two from 200 feet to 164. Now watch that white, the, the look how it's pointed to the next waypoint, but watch when I click in the bottom right at POI and choose waypoint one. Watch what happens in three, two, one. When I tap it, it's looking at the point of interest. Very cool stuff, gonna hit okay. Now let's say at waypoint three, we're gonna be at 164. Let's say I want it to go back up. Let's go up to about 225. Click okay, I actually should have stayed on it. POI, we're gonna have it looking at that water tower that we set. So we're gonna click okay at the top. We're gonna go to waypoint four. We're gonna have it go down in altitude to about Let's have, take it down a little ways to about 113 feet or so. POI, we're going to hit one, pointing at the water tower. Going to click OK. Back to the last waypoint, we'll have it go back to 164 feet. Why not? And then for POI, let's still have it looking at that water tower. Tap OK. And so now, guys, we have basically set up our path and told the drone that we want it looking at the water tower, which is what we set as the point of interest. Now, up at the very top again, those one, two, three, four, five icons, we're gonna click the three dots again, and then we're going to click on route settings there. I say click, tap, obviously. So we have route types, which is polyline and arc. Now polyline's more of a straight line, and arc, it'll kind of round its corners. I'm just gonna keep it on polyline. Now the next item down is task finish. So this is, we have options. Whenever it does its five waypoints, or how many waypoints you tell it and instruct it to do, what do you want the drone to do? What I'm gonna want it to do is I'm gonna want it to return to the home point wherever I take off, okay? so But your options are it can hover there, return to the first waypoint, or it can land. I'm gonna have it return to home where I take off. Now, if I lose my uh, RC signal, you want it to continue task, return to home, hover, landing. I always want my drone to return to home when it loses RC connections. Don't know about you guys, but that's me. Now, all waypoint direction. Heading can't be set for single waypoint in this mode. So. Basically, we want to keep it on custom route because we set a POI, which is the water tower. But if you weren't setting any POIs, if you put it in free, that means you can turn the drone and basically make it look whichever way you want to as it stays on course of those waypoints. Or if you choose route, it'll stay in the heading of the next waypoint as it's going forward, like it's just flying straight forward. But we want to keep it on custom since we set you know, a POI. And then, of course, we have cruising, which I want the drone to do this whole thing at about... 15 miles an hour, okay? 16 miles an hour. So those are your route settings. Now we're gonna hit the X. And then lastly, guys, the icon in the very middle at the top, the little, looks like a little document or a piece of paper. I'm going to click that and it says task saved successfully. Now I'm gonna hit delete and you'll notice it clears everything. So now we are going to actually go to the park. I'm gonna drive up north and we're gonna load this up and show you guys how this performs by loading this up and flying your drone using Waypoints 2.0. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are now at the park and I am just taking my drone up manually right now. You can see the water tower that I set as the point of interest. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm just gonna let go of the sticks and I'm actually going to pull up the intelligent flight mode waypoints 2.0, which I showed you guys. So far left of the screen, the four white icons, third one down from the top, the white remote icon, we're gonna wanna tap it. We're going to agree on that. And then waypoints down at the bottom right, tap on it. Now, we're going to hit that little uh, 
the far right guys at the very top far right icon the three white dots we're going to go to task library and then i named it i renamed it kind of demo there i'm going to tap on it that's how you rename it actually sorry my apologies we're going to hit load to the far right there and then as you can see it pulls it up now without any further ado i'm not even going to tweak or do anything i'm not going to tweak the settings or anything far left you see the green go button i'm going to tap it and then it brings up a task check, gives us information about our flight, what the duration is going to be, what our battery is currently at, the waypoint directions, what's going to do when it's finished, return to home altitude in case something goes wrong, what happens if we action goes if our we have no RC comes to home, kept it in polyline, and we have it cruising about 16 miles per hour. So I am good with that. So now what I'm going to do is you know i'm actually going to scroll down a little bit had a little bit more please select a starting waypoint i want to start at one now i'm going to hit start and as you can see now my drone is starting to do its thing so what it's going to do first is it's going to go up to the desired altitude that i started with and as you can see below waypoint one is 200 feet now the drone is going to cruise to the first waypoint as you can see i'm going to toggle back so i can hit record once i start man it is cold outside but there is no wind at all which is very nice okay now i'm going to hit record and as you can see as the drone is going from waypoint one to waypoint two it's decreasing in altitude while also staying focused on that poi which is the water tower and look at the how the horizon's starting to reveal now guys that's because we're going down in altitude but we set the poi height at i think about i think it was about 75 uh, feet tall i believe so now as you can see we toggle back it's going from waypoint two to three so it's going to rise in altitude while staying on that poi so how cool and how killer and how effortless is that pretty cool stuff to see how easy and effortless that can uh, be and so we're almost to waypoint three and what set of instructions did we give it from waypoint three to waypoint four? We told it to come down in altitude. So there it gets to waypoint three. Now it's going to start going to waypoint four and it's going to decrease in altitude all while again, keeping that water tower focused as the POI. So this is just very, very cool that you can pre-plan your, um, your missions, your waypoint routes from wherever you want. I mean, literally like I could, I'm here in Southwest Oklahoma, say I was, going to uh i don't know connecticut for some reason and uh i wanted to uh go ahead and pre-plan a route that i wanted to fly in connecticut i could do that from oklahoma with no problems and then just get to connecticut load up the mission and start it so very very cool stuff we are at our fourth waypoint i believe now we are going to our last one and it's going to go up just a little bit in altitude and again all while keeping that water tower basically as the point of interest that we set. So it just makes it very effortless to get some very nice cinematic footage using the newly released Waypoints 2.0 by DJI. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I will continue to have more DJI Mavic 2 Pro videos upcoming in the future. As always, guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan.